And that should be it. So let's bring that back. So I've saved that. I'm coming back here to where I have left upper arm rig, lower arm, and hand rig. And let's play this, see what happens. Okay, so I've got my controls here. And here is my pull vector. Should move up and down. Right, there's one other thing I wanted to do with that pull vector. Actually, I wanted to freeze the transform. Freezing the transforms is the... Here, I also made sure to clear the selection, so I created the note so it doesn't uh, get parented under something on accident. So I'll set that to zero. So that just sets all that to zero. What I want to do is freeze the transforms on the rotate when it gets out there. Let's try this again. And if I come here and I... So I actually want to freeze the transforms on here on the group node or on the rotate one before it gets parented. So I want to be able to freeze only the rotation because if I freeze translation, it's just going to hop back to zero. Although that stays where it is. So maybe if I freeze it, now well, let's, let's test this out. Uh, I'm going to create a null this at my left close up my hand here here left lower arm ik and parent it okay so here's my null i'm going to zero it out so it's there and i'm going to unparent it what happens if i my parent control selected joints change everything to zero and then parent it to the world i set everything to zero parent it to the world distance this way this way but it's moving in relative object space okay now that i have the out now it's doing this again okay so this way then this way and then what happens if i freeze these oops that's that one that's not what i want i want this one so i could just freeze that let's just say i move it over here I'm going to show it to you. Uh, let's say I take this and let's unparent that freeze transforms. Now, let's see here the selection handle is down here now, but the pivot is up there. So I think if I made a shape, it would show up down here, but the pivot would be up there. And we create parent. Let's try this with, let's kill this pole vector real quick. Let's just try with a a uh, circle. I'm just going to create a circle, it's gonna scale that down a bit, and freeze the scale. All right, so I'm going to grab my nerve circle. I'm going to parent it to my lower arm. I'm going to zero all these out, and I'm going to unparent it back it over like I would, and I will freeze the transforms. And then I will create the constraint. Left arm my K nerve circle. Sure, I'm doing this backwards. I always do this backwards. Yep. Nerves my K. It should still be on that plane. But the shape is tilted even though this is not. Uh, let's just for shits and giggles show me this selection handle. <sighs> on this transform. Right. We still have this transform. And I kind of want these to be um, undoing. Go back before I created the, uh, before I ran the script. Sorry, it's a lot of undoing. I hope I get there for my undo's run out. Oh, there we go. Lower arm, lower arm. All right. Let's do a quick save. So I want to, okay, so I put it here. So I move it. Uh, and then if I move it and then freeze the transform. And really, I just need to freeze the rotational transforms too. I'm not. I don't need to be worried about stuff. So if I come and I look at my my command reference, I know it's not under freeze transform. I know it's under something else. It might be set adder. Control display and this distance between clip counts. Right, force. No. So let's just grab this curve and let's just freeze transforms. Make identity, so that's it. Let's undo freeze transformations. So 
what I want here is make identity. That's it. Move, make bot. That'd be did it again. Make identity. Translate true, rotate true. So all we have to do here is ml dot make identity not times not that group of pb control comma rotate equals true. That's really all I want, right? And I want to select that control, create the parent, make that control the IK handle. What do you think, kids? Think it'll work? And when I select this up and down, and sometimes I look through there, it freaks me out. Look at this graph, dude. But to be fair, so if I grab this, right? To be fair, when I grab something, I've seen graphs where it's like everything is just flat and connected. And if I grab like this root, it's like connected to everything. It's like, mm. yeah, that root doesn't need to be in that bind pose. It's weird, but sorry, that's not going to be our bind for, or maybe it does. It's not in the skin. That's what it is. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. So now I have, so if I only select these things, right, there's my IK arm. I F K controls, right? And that one should be, haha. What I didn't do now that I need to worry about is it's, so I don't even need to worry about that. So left lower arm F K joint should be lower arm should be Y Z X so that I get this when I move it. Right? Oh, right. It's not going to look like that because of the controller, which is right here. The controller is not my ZX also. So is it the controller that has to be, like, does it, does it matter then? The joints are? Shouldn't it just be the controller that we're worried about? I don't know. We'll have to do some more looking into there. I feel like I'm so just stuck on these. I'm just constantly still just running this stuff. Make left thigh, knee, foot, and I just need to run this one that's leg, foot. There's my controllers. Right, thigh, knee, foot. Run it. No. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's weird. What's going on there? Rotate. Oh, idiot. There we go. Uh, why am I getting that stuttering action? I don't like that. Yep, yeah, that works, right? Oh, you know what? I know why, I think. Yeah, I'm grabbing the handle. I need to grab the control. There we go. That's much mucho batero. Okay. All right. So that part's looking pretty good at this point. I got to do a little bit more looking into something, somethings, and figure all that out. That looks crazy. There's his. Eat.